guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is another chit chat video because I have a lot of things happening with Hooked for Hope behind the scenes that I wanted to make sure that I talked to you about. Some things that you will definitely notice and other things that you won't notice just yet, but I wanted to share with you behind the scene things that I'm very excited about, projects that I'm very excited about. I'm gonna show you some new works in progress, some whips that I have, go over some of the new tutorials coming up in August and early September, and kind of let you know where my brain is at, what's happening. That way we are all on the same page and you're not surprised when things change and you're like, what, what happened? <laughs> okay, so first things first month of August, my kids are starting school again. Uh, August 19th is their first day of school. They are doing online school for the first nine weeks, and then we're going to see if they're actually able to go back to school or if they're just going to end up finishing the school year out at home. So that's going to be a new juggle. That's going to be a new transition that I am going to be preparing myself for is the kids doing school at home. And I have a kid in elementary school and a kid in middle school. And I know as much as I would love to say, okay, time to start school, focus, go, and just do it hands off. I know that if I don't have my thumb on them, they are not going to focus and they're gonna be highly distracted and they're gonna start missing assignments and missing things. So especially for the first month, I'm gonna have to have my thumb on them. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going down to one video a week where I'm gonna have a video go live every Friday. If I'm able to sneak a smaller video in there and treat you to two videos a week, that's gonna be very exciting and special because I know I have so much material that going down to one video a week is really hard for me, but I need to find balance and juggle the fact that my kids are going back to school and I need to really up my mom responsibilities and really just be there for them on top of making these incredible tutorials and crocheting with you because I love crocheting with you. It's, it's my joy. It's something I love to do. I'm juggling those. But I also have some exciting projects that I'm working behind the scenes, scenes that I'm very excited about. Like, example, I am getting a website up and running or working on getting a website up and running for you. So that way it's an easier place for me to send you if you're looking for patterns or if you're looking for materials or if you're just in general looking more for more things from me, I can just direct you check out my website, check out my website. And that'll hopefully be a better solution than what I'm using right now. So my YouTube videos will still be going strong, but I'm gonna have the website to lean on. So I'm gonna be focusing some attention on building that up for you so I can get that going, make it a whole lot easier. I also have uh, some other really exciting projects that I'm super excited about. Uh, I don't wanna share too much yet because Nothing is set in stone, but I'm really excited to just be building up the Hook for Hope brand and developing something new and exciting and just continuing to grow my platform. It's very exciting. <laughs> so that is the news behind the scene. I'm going down to one video a week for a little while as I'm tr transitioning back to school and these new behind the scene things, but you will still consistently see me once a week Every Friday, I will be here. Uh, what else is new? If you haven't noticed my behind the scenes back here, I changed rooms in my house. So the room that I was using, it had those slanted ceilings and I was struggling with my recording because I just started to feel really cramped. The materials in the room, the way the room was, I just needed more room, so I just swapped rooms in my house. <laughs> I'm using a different room now, and the, the ceilings being a little higher make me feel a lot more comfortable. My items, my yarn, all of my supplies are able to be displayed in a much more attractive way than the piles and piles that I had hidden behind the camera. <laughs> as I'm just like shuffling my mess this way, shuffling my mess that way, depending on where I was recording. Uh, so now it's a lot, a lot nicer, a lot more peaceful, <sighs> stress-free. It's a, it's a nicer office for, for sure. And I appreciate it. So that is new. Um, projects that I'm working on. 
I'm going to show you the projects that I'm working on and then I'm going to tell you the tutorials that are right around the corner that I'm going to show you that you're going to be seeing. So project number one that I'm almost finished with, very excited. This project was uh, a request from a viewer. It is the compass blanket and it looks so cool. I'm very excited about it. I am down to this skein and once the skein is complete, I will stop the project. The project will be done and it will be ready for recording and I will share with you how I made this blanket. It was a lot of fun actually. The It's very different and I, I enjoyed going over this pattern. So thank you so much for asking for this tutorial. I had a lot of fun with it. So making this guy, he's coming soon. Then I have, so the baby bath towel that I mentioned in my last video, I finished this guy that you will possibly re remember seeing. So he is done. And what I added, I added these cute little strappy things here. So when you fold it this way, you can tie these together and then you fold it this way and you can tie those, tie those, and tie those together. Kind of like a robe, how you fold one side in and you can secure it and then you fold the other side. So this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. I'm very excited about it. But what I promised you is this yarn was the 100% cotton size five bulky yarn with the texture, the cool pattern to the yarn, where it was kind of like a wavy textured pattern. What I promised you is that I would make a baby bath towel in a size four weighted yarn, size four weighted 100% cotton yarn, because again, the baby bath towel is gonna get wet, so we need it to be 100% cotton. So I'm in the process right now of making the size four weighted cotton baby bath towel, and here's where I'm at right now. I just started one panel this way, I need to add the, the other panel this way, and then he will be done. So what I want to do before I actually show you a tutorial on how to make this is, I am looking for a baby. <laughs> I am searching a baby to model this baby bath towel. I want to have a baby actually put it on and see how it fits baby, actually use the baby bath towel um, as a baby bath towel and see how it worked. The review, I want somebody to review this for me, basically, and tell me uh, the dimensions could have been different here. Uh, it worked like this. That way I have a better idea of how it worked before I present it to all of you and be like, hey, make this, and then you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> So I am on the lookout for a baby right now. But again, with COVID and everything, I'm not seeing a whole lot of people. I'm not socializing at all. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe I could ask a viewer, a follower, if you have a baby between zero and 12 months old, it needs to be younger than 12 months, uh, if you want to be my tester and I will send this to you in the mail and you use it, put it on baby, take pictures of baby wearing it, um, tell me how baby reacted to the feel of it, uh, how did it work as an actual baby bath towel. I would really appreciate that. Um, but I wanna get your opinion in the comments below. Do you think that's a good idea? Should I just go with dimensions? Because honestly, I went to Pottery Barn Baby looked at their dimensions for their baby bath towel, and I meet dimensions. But, you know, sometimes meeting dimensions and actually working with baby, it can be two different things. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you think I should just stick with dimensions, or should, do one of you want to volunteer to test this for me on, uh, on their baby? Just like, take pictures, be my little model. <laughs> That would be really cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in regards to that. Um, I am also, I had somebody ask me to make a pink llama. You got a cubby. Pink llama is in the cubby. 
got him started. I have the head, I have the ears, and I'm currently working on the main body part. I'm pretty quick with stuffed animals. Stuffed animals are one of my favorite projects to make because it makes me feel like I'm bringing something to life and it makes me so happy. Like, oh my gosh, look at it, it's alive. <laughs> it's so cute. So I love stuffed animals. If he's in a cubby, he's gonna be done pretty soon. So there's gonna be a tutorial on the pink llama very soon. Um, other projects I have working. Those are the current projects, project projects that I have working. I'm also still working on the, the rainbow pillow, still getting him going. So if you got all the material ready to go, don't worry. I had to end up frogging the material, the project because there was something lopsided in it. And I was like, oh no, I need to redo this. So I'm glad that I double checked myself before I just presented it to you because I, want it to be perfect when I present it to you. And so I'm still working on him. Don't worry about him. I have just so many things kind of working, but those are my top priority because they're going to be released tutorials soon. Now, now for the tutorials, the tutorials that are coming for August, I had a lot of people ask me about how to price their crochet items. When I came out with the video on things to crochet to sell for fall and winter, uh, it was just an obvious next step to the how do you price those items that you just made? So that is going to be my next video that I'm going to be making is how to price your crocheted items. I'm gonna go over the formula that I use when I am pricing my items, share that with you and just go over it. It's really simple, but uh, just wanna make sure that you think so too. <laughs> next thing I'm going to be going over is the sweet stitch. I had a follower request me to do a tutorial for the sweet stitch crochet pattern. So that is coming. It will be released this month. So excited. It's a gorgeous stitch. Uh, then the market bag. I had a couple people ask me to make a market bag. So I'm going to make a market bag for you. All right. So those are the recent tutorials. It's going to drive me crazy slowing down to one video a week, but in the long run, it will do great things. There are so many tutorials that I want to do. I'm I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> there is so much that I wanna do and so much to get out to you. I'm so excited. Uh, if you have any requests, feel free to contact me either via the comments or contact me through email, hookedforhope at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram where I do a lot of updates. I show you sneak peeks of projects that I'm working on. I show you uh, funnies, little funny comic strips. I just engage with you behind the scenes of what I'm doing, what I'm working on. Um, Facebook, same way. So if you have any questions for me, want to contact me, uh, Instagram or Facebook are other options of making me available. And Twitter, of course. If you follow Twitter, I am on there as well, at Hooked for Hope. Sound good? Oh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that this will make sense when you start seeing that I'm only releasing one video a week and you're like, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. I always love spending time with you. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. That way you don't miss any videos, especially the sneak ones that I, I send your way. I hope you have a, a wonderful, amazing day. I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.